Even after the official withdrawal of the extradition bill, pro-democracy demonstrations in Hong Kong continued over the weekend. In fact, Hong Kong demonstrators have now called on the United States to intervene in the ongoing political standoff. For more on this and other news around the world, let's go over to our Kim Dami in the Arirang News Center. Now, tell me, tell us more about this Sunday's rally that's really taking a new turn. Now, Hong Kongers are asking the U.S. to directly step in in their affairs. Right, Kanyang, Hong Kong protesters chanted the U.S. national anthem and called on President Trump to liberate the Chinese-ruled city. Tens of thousands of protesters on Sunday marched on Hong Kong's U.S. consulate, consulate to call for help from the Trump administration. Hong Kong demonstrators called on the U.S. Congress to pass the proposed Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act 2019. It's a measure that will require Washington to annually assess Hong Kong's level of autonomy from China and would affect Hong Kong's preferential trading status with the U.S. The protesters, the protests began peacefully but eventually turned into another violent clash with police. Hong Kong's police fired multiple rounds of tear gas in the Causeway Bay area and arrested several demonstrators at Central Subway Station. Meanwhile, pro-democracy activist Joshua Wang was arrested for breaching bail conditions on his return home from a trip to Taiwan. In a statement released by his political party, Wang said the arrest was a procedural mistake because the court had previously approved overseas trips. He is expected to be released after a hearing on Monday morning.